everyone, welcome to Angus Online Talk Show. Hi everyone, I'm Idris. Thank you for having me in this episode. And today we'll be discussing a Samsung Elash DTV and also the QLED series. You are right. If you want to save your time in searching for the right QLED or UHD, this will be the right answer. Yes, exactly. You're right. And today we'll also be discussing the key features of the R series UHD TV. Uh, and yes, can you tell me something? Uh, what are the product ranges of uh, Samsung TV uh, from 2019 up until 2020? Uh, similarly with last year, we had the entry level of the UHD. Uh, it is 7100 series, 7090 series and 7400 series. And then we had the middle end series 1000 which is our premium UHD. And the most important will be our QLED. Uh, it is super high-end. I tell you, this is a very amazing thing. Uh, I can see the key product ranges are on display here, but uh, I don't see any middle-end premium USB. What is that? I think this is a strategy move of some sort of one eye. We purposely price uh, QLED and premium UHD similar. So from customer point of view, if QLED and premium UHD, the price are similar, there are really no point for them to look for the premium UHD. Because QLED has a lot, a lot of better features. And also, uh, in the cons consumer market in Brunei, yes. um, what are their main major concerns before buying the uh, UHD TV? I think every time when there is customer come to our shop, I will always ask them what are the entertainment needs. Can you elaborate more on the entertainment? Uh, what I mean is, when customer come to my Samsung UHD school, basically I will try to find out what type of source they are watching. For example, either they are watching DVD, uh, Astro, Astro Video, or Netflix. From here, I will introduce the correct products based on their, their uh, entertainment needs. And then I will make sure this particular product will give them more interesting viewing experience. And James, I know uh, you are also very good in selling the Samsung TV. Let's say if one customer comes to you and says they are watching a low resolution such as Astro, how do you convince them that our series can offer them a much better quality? One of the key features uh, of Samsung UHD TV is UHD upscaling. It is a very must known feature of any UHD TV in this effective model brand. Uh, when, you, when you go to the retail shop in Brunei, they can only show you the uh, 4K TV and signal. That's it. But uh, when you buy back, you definitely watch Astro or a streaming app such as YouTube, which can only offer you 480p and a maximum of 720p HD quality. Yeah, this is the time when uh, Samsung UHD upscaling comes into place to solve the problem. Samsung UHD upscaling basically it will detect any signal and then it will upscale it to UHD compatible quality and this is the most important features. This is our Samsung UHD school and uh, UHD upscaling is in the video setting. We will activate it for you and we can show you the difference between with and without UHD upscaling. Alright, it is. Let's say if one customer comes to the shop and they tell you he is watching the DVD. For example, other than the UHD upscaling, what other features will you introduce to him? Uh, uh, very good question. Uh, one, of the most, one of my favorite key features of this sample UHD TV is the UHD TV. Uh, yeah, let me quickly explain to what is UHD TV. Uh, UHD TV is a very Divided into a small, tiny amount of zones or blocks. Right? And one of the functions of this is to auto adjust the brightness, which uh, it can produce a brighter, a brighter white and darker black. Alright, other than that, the second two features will be it will improve the sharpness. Thirdly, and that is very important, these features will eliminate the halo effect or the image distortion. This overall will give you a very crisp, clear, stunning picture quality. What were tips coming up in the UHD TV and QLED TV, which is the HDR? Can you explain to me what is HDR? 
HDR basically is uh, referring to the key technology that has hair, especially when you watch the 4K resolution broadcast on the Netflix. HDR means high dynamic range. It's very simple to concept. That means uh, it will expand the range of the content in order for you to see more clearly. Yeah, basically, it means like that. Okay? For example, any TV without the HDR, you can only see part of the picture. Right? With the HDR such as our Samsung HD, it will expand the range of the content then you see more in the detail. When you come to our premium UHD, it will expand more. Okay? When you come to the premium UHD, it will expand very broad. Okay? So you can see very very details and different type of the black color and white color. Okay? Now, in order for you to enjoy the HDR, basically you need three parts. First is the movie or drama must be uh, produced in HDR format. Secondly, you must have a station to broadcast this HDR uh, format. This is Netflix. And the third thing, you must you must have a real TV which can really project this type of graphics. This will be our Samsung UHD or QLED TV. Bear in mind, all the TV which label as HDR ready in Brunei doesn't mean that they are able to offer you the technology that I mentioned just now. It only means that it can support HDR equipment. Uh, you also need another key technology, which is uh, the color drive. Uh, the color drive which can produce a white color example. And uh, when the HDR expands, it can fill in more colors. So this is why white color drive works hand in hand with HDR. Angus, can you elaborate more on the white color volume uh, in the HDR? A white color volume is very much dependent on the color drive that you use in the TV. Uh, for example, uh, for our uh, Samsung UHD or Samsung QED, we are able to produce the color that is very close to the real life color. Okay. And then, in order uh, for you to enjoy the red color in the HDR content, basically you need to have at least empty of the color. Okay? For all our Samsung UHD, it comes from at least empty or, or uh, more than 10 bits. Basically, we have these two uh, very white color tone in our TV. To, to summarize this content of this uh, episode, yeah. uh, if you are watching a very low resolution of broadcast such as Astro, YouTube or movie streaming apps, it is preferably and advisably that you have UHD upscaling and UHD dimming. If you are watching a high resolution such as from Netflix, it is better to have a real UHD TV with HDR content because this is important for the TV to be brought into darkness and also the stunning quality of this HDR content. Of course, you need to have a white color volume in order to spend it. Ladies and gentlemen, in this, in this episode, we only share with you how to our Samsung UHD and QAD. However, we do not disclose how to edit all the hidden settings on the pictures. That's why we will come into our Samsung UHD school, let us play with you more, and let us find your entertainment needs together. In the next episode, it is we will be talking about QLED features and why is it the main focus of our getting into your one time. Thank you for watching. See you again.